We continue to talk about interesting and picturesque places, and to visit them you don't need to leave the borders of Ukraine. Pakutia is a territory of Halichina in the southwestern part of Ukraine, situated between the Dniester and the Cherimosh rivers and the Carpathian Mountains. Here in Ivano-Frankivsk region there is a very picturesque place, the sacred heart of this ancient land. The Ukrainian Michelangelo named Pinzel, who was a sculptor of wood, created his works in these lands. In the center there is an incredibly beautiful church and a monastery. In Horodenka you can see a unique church, which according to the folk song, was built as the remembrance of a girl from a neighboring village who was murdered by a Polish tycoon. In the Pakutia museum you can rock an ancient cradle. In this town you can see how the famous Pakutia ceramics are made and find out why this town stands on three bridges. Today our town for the weekend is the ancient Horodenka. Horodenka is a small town in the historical area of Pakutia. The town is located upon the Yamhorif River and was founded in 1195. Horodenka has a population of 9,277 residents. The town is small, but you can see how people meet us, and here probably all the school children of the town come to see us. Welcome to Horodenka! It's a special town on three bridges, so I will begin to tell a story about our Horodenka. It seems like our town is an old and wise lady who has reverently sat on the hill and is washing her exhausted legs in the old, kind and grey Yamhorif. I must admit that our town is interesting, unique and special. As every historic figure, every part of our historic town, every street or a monument of architecture or just an old building are full of legends, stories, fables, conjectures, anecdotes and life. And today I can assure that anybody that has paid a visit to our town at least once will certainly have the desire to return here. The town has lived its own special life for many centuries and witnessed various significant events. Many local historians say that this region is unique and there are many secrets that need to be explored. One of them is the name of the town. There are several versions, but which of them is true is not known exactly. Each city begins with its name. Horodenka, on the one hand, is quite an interesting name. It means a small town or fortification, but still it is connected with ancient Rus. Seeing as this region is geographically called Pakutia, a holy corner in Ukrainian houses, so this probably was the basis of a spiritual center. There is another version. In our small town there were 12 wooden churches, two stone churches, an Armenian church and two monasteries. It really was the cultural and spiritual center of Pakutia. Perhaps there is some kind of mystics in the name, because there is only one Horodenka in Ukraine. It seems that sometimes you want to take a moment, especially to see the magnolia blossoms or simply listen to the church bells chime. But for some reason, we can't stop the time. Horodenka is the center of Pakutia. Very hospitable people live here. There are many churches and temples in Horodenka, including an Armenian church which is already 400 years old. Pakutia has its own culture and as a separate ethnos of Ukraine has its own way of life, culture, embroidered shirts, songs and dances. And when you get to Horodenka, you will see this and feel it. People will show and tell you everything about the history and culture of this town with great pleasure. When you find yourself in the courtyard of our spiritual shrine, which art historians call the most outstanding building in the late Baroque style in Central Europe, the Church of the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary, you will understand its grandeur. 
This imposing building can be seen almost from anywhere in Horodenka, because such a majestic church, especially in comparison with surrounding low structures, is clearly visible. The Church of the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary, built by Bernard Maritain in the middle of the 18th century, is a true pearl of the town. Once it was decorated with a large number of sculptures by Johann Georg Pinzel. Now you can see only the figure of the Madonna on a column near the temple. The rest of Horodenka sculptures are now exhibited and stored in the Oleski Castle and the Lviv Pinzel Museum. It is believed that the tandem of the architect and the sculptor started exactly here in Pokutia. This temple was built at the cost of the former head of the town Mikola Vasily Patotsky. The first donation of a grandee to the monastery church was a considerable amount. 20,000 zloty. The church was consecrated on July 2, 1769. The middle part of the shrine is much higher than the lateral part. The main facade was located on the sides of two bell towers, which are slightly offset from the central axis of the building. On the bell towers, instead of crosses, the coat of arms of the Patotsky family were raised. The pulpit, where sermons and frescoes damaged by time and vandals were proclaimed are most all of the riches of the church that were preserved to this day. Near the temple there are large two-story monastic cells which were built simultaneously with the church. We know very little about our past and how ungrateful we are to those without whom we would not exist. But they represent our beginning and they remain in our conscience. This is our town, the heart of Pakutia, because this is the only region that fully belongs to this territory of Ukraine. Right next to the church is the building of the Pakutia Museum. According to historical facts, different nationalities lived on this land, but were united by a single ethnonym. In a small house, there are several expositions where traditional clothing, furniture and household belongings of the residents of Horodenka are represented. In addition, in the museum there is a unique wooden cradle. At first glance, it looks ordinary and nothing special. But people say that the woman who rocks the cradle will give birth to a child within a year. Now we will get acquainted with the town. Behind the building of the museum you can see the ancient bridge, which still functions despite its respectable age. When you walk on our three bridges, you will get acquainted with the original hallmark of our town, Horodenka. But not every town can boast of such a grandiose construction, which is already more than two centuries old and along with Count Mikola Patotsky passed in his horse-drawn open carriage. By the way, Mikola Patotsky played a significant role in the construction of Horodenka. He was a magnate who lived most of his life in Horodenka. He owned huge estates in Pakutia and Podilia and wanted to turn the town into a generic residence, the capital of magnates, and therefore helped to build various constructions and develop crafts and trade. If you want to raise your hands in prayer, you can do it in our spiritual pearl, which for more than two and a half centuries has adorned the central square of our town. Where to this day the works of such a talented, ingenious and at the same time mysterious sculptor Pinzel are preserved, and whose works are a phenomenon and has no analogues in European art. Welcome to our church, the Church of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin. Це є наша церква, церква Успення Пресвятої Богородиці. The Horodenka Greek Catholic Church of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary dates back to 1763. Instead of ordinary crosses, there are crosses of the Patotsky family. It was Kaniv Mayor Mikola Vasily who provided the financial support to this temple. Moreover, he also financed the accommodation of the Holy Five Missionary Fathers. According to the legend, the tycoon redeemed the guilt and earned a pardon for the murder of Bondarivna, a girl from Chernyatin, who did not obey the master for which he killed her. In the historical ballad The Song of the Bondarivna, Kanevsky is mentioned, but everyone knows that it was Patotsky. There are a dozens of versions of the song. There is another majestic temple and probably the work of the famous Bernard Meretin.
I'm very proud of our temple, as this is one of those beautiful pearls not only of Pakutia, but I would say of all of Ukraine. Seen as the church was built in 1763 by the well-known patron builder as Mykola Patotsky. He liked this land, this part of Ukraine, together with its cultural level. Here you will have the chance to visit an Armenian church, a Greek Catholic church, a Roman Catholic church, and a large synagogue. And all this showed that the spiritual level of this area was quite high. Atotsky built more than 70 temples that were all dedicated in honor of the Mother of God. By the way, he waited two years for Leon Sheptetsky to consecrate this temple. On June 1, 1766, Bishop Sheptetsky consecrated the church. I want to say that the church was built in the style of a ship. After examining everything, you will see a very beautiful style, an interesting Baroque style that shows the culture of that time, on the one hand. On the other hand, it has very beautiful acoustics, so it's very comfortable for me to hold services here. In addition to the remarkable acoustics in the temple, there is a unique iconostasis. Most likely, it is a simplified analog of the iconostasis of the Cathedral of St. George in Lviv. Pinzel worked here and he also opened the Pinzel factory, where they made many sculptures that were decorations in these temples. In the temple, there are many sculptures and paintings that belong to the famous master of wooden sculpture, Johann Georg Pinzel. It is no exaggeration to call it the Ukrainian Michelangelo. The Galician sculptor of the mid-18th century is a classic representative of the late Baroque and Rococo. He was the founder of the Lviv School of Sculptors. His priceless sculptures are the masterpieces of world art. The facade of the temple is decorated with icons, large arched windows, a wrought iron balcony above the entrance, a vertex and amazing reliefs. Near the church is a three-tier bell of a similar style of architecture. I invite all visitors, because this temple is unique. I feel comfortable here. And at least this temple exudes such a powerful energy that was passed on to us by our ancestors. Horodenka is a small provincial town in which everyone knows each other, and there is really an atmosphere of coziness and comfort. The sincerity and humanity of local residents actually form a unique ornament of this peculiar town. Probably only in Horodenka you can walk slowly across the square, look at the chestnuts, admire the blooming magnolias, or go to a cafe to drink a cup of warm coffee and read the local newspaper. You will not feel the hustle and bustle of a large metropolis here. Horodenka is a small beautiful town, which is truly worth visiting and deserves its claim to fame. Welcome to Horodenka! Here live hospitable and cheerful people who always welcome everyone. The town has hotels where you can stay. There are also many restaurants and coffee shops, where you can enjoy a delicious cup of coffee and a meal. So let's get a taste of the delectable cuisine of Pakutia. Good afternoon. We're glad to welcome you to Horodenka and our restaurant. And we invite you to try the traditional dishes of Pakutia. Well, what we saw, of course, was very surprising. After all, it was a fantastic presentation of traditional Pakutia cuisine. The dishes that were on the table are traditionally prepared for the holiday by the local hostess of this restaurant. I want to present our local cuisine. It is famous because all the dishes that we cook are from ancient times, passed down from our great-grandmothers to grandmothers. And to this day we continue to prepare these dishes based on traditional recipes. Baked sausages, holubtsi or cabbage rolls with meat, mushroom soup, vareniki dumplings with sauerkraut and other delicious food while the main dish today is a duck baked with prunes. It is cooked according to old recipes of Pakutia, and every housewife bakes it in a special way. The main thing in this dish is minced meat. 
After all, they are stuffed with a duck and then they chew it up and bake it in the oven for 3 to 4 hours. To try all our dishes, you need to come to us. Therefore, welcome to our town. So it's worth to come to Horodenka only to try really authentic dishes of the Pakutia cuisine, which are cooked according to ancient generic recipes to add spice to the beautiful color of Pakutia. I was lucky to be born in Ukraine, in the picturesque town of the Pakutia County. This is where my family has lived many years and keeps its household traditions. Nowhere else do people sing a ringing carol, celebrate Easter and preserve a memory of their kind as in Horodenka. Welcome to Horodenka, where you have a chance to admire the majestic Dniester River, taste local culinary dishes and take pictures of the beautiful natural surroundings. I think that it is very comfortable here. It is very nice, quiet and cozy. We would like to invite you to our beautiful Horodenka. Horodenka is a beautiful town. Small, compact and everything is close. Just a 15-minute walk and you're enjoying the beautiful view of the river, where you can see wonderful swans, sit down, rest and fish. Such is rest and relaxation at the end of a hard-working day. And later on, we will learn how to make unique Pakutia ceramics, listen to the best brass band and visit the oldest gymnasium of the region. We will get acquainted with the picturesque Horodenka. We invite you to the capital of Pakutia, to our beloved native town of Horodenka. You will see our ethnos, you will taste our cuisine and you will get a sense of our culture. You will see our architecture and how rich Horodenka is. Welcome! So travel around Ukraine, discover new cities and tell about them to the whole world. Let every trip be a wonderful and totally unforgettable experience.